About five years ago, I made this tool chest, uh, which I featured in one of my other videos. Uh, it served me well, taking my tools to and from shows and teaching courses. But there are a couple of aspects about it which I felt could be improved on. Um, one of which was the fact that it has two trays inside, so that you have to lift out one and then you have to lift out the other one to get access to the, to the base. And you also need somewhere to put the two trays. So, and the other thing was there were certain protrusions on this. So the handle here, although it's perfectly intact and no problems, obviously this is a potential source taking it in and out of the van of being damaged. And the same would apply down to the feet as well, the ebony feet on here. So, enter Mark II. And for those of you attending the course that I'm doing for the New English Workshop at Bridgewater College, this is the chest you'll be making. So you can see here it has a single lift out tray. And in lieu of the storage in the second tray, I've actually moved some storage up into the lid here. So this gives full access to the base with just the one tray out. And usually this is the tray which contains the things that I would need to use when I was demonstrating. Another little feature I've, I've done with this tray is the, if you just want the chisels alone, is that this can tilt, so it's working at an angle to you. And equally, if it's just the chisels you need, it can be removed and put back in. So if it's just chisels you want, you can, there's this removable little tray. The cabinet itself is made of olive ash, dovetailed tray, dovetailed in, sent outer tray and dovetailed cabinet. You can see here the, the hinges are um, uh, neat hinges and they are made by Ian Th Hawthorne in Ireland um, and they are particularly effective and indeed very neat. So one of the things that I was keen to retain from the, um, the old chest was the piston fit tray. So I'll show you that here. Now with the lid, obviously now it's much thicker and it's got tools in it. So the lid is much heavier. So one of the things I was conscious of with this heavy lid was when it comes down, um, to not go down with a bang. So you can see here that the um, uh, tray is actually standing proud by about half an inch of the, um, of the top of the box. And if I just left this with square sides, when I came to close the lid, it wouldn't close. So by carefully chamfering the two sides and the front, it reached a stage where the lid would close, but closes softly. So instead of going down with a bang, it goes down with a nice whoosh. So that was the final feature that I included in the box. And replacing the feet, you can see here that all I've done is extend the bottom of the box. So that enables me then to get my hands in and to lift the box. So it's lost its integral feet. And also, instead of having a protruding um, handle, I've actually recessed a little finger hold in here so that can just lift up and then close softly. So there we have it. That's the tool chest. English olive ash. You can see the neat hinges from the back here. I really enjoyed making it and I'm looking forward to seeing you all at the New English Workshop.